Hey everybody, my name is Baird. Welcome to a new video for today. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fulfill your first order. So congratulations. Hopefully you're watching this video because you got your first order on Shopify. If you haven't gotten your first order yet, but you just want to find out how to fulfill an order for when that first sale does come in. So let me hop into my computer and let me show you guys exactly how I fulfill an order. It's a lot easier and a lot more simple than you think. So let me hop into my computer and let me show you guys exactly how it's done. All right, so we are here in my Overlow for this one store that I'm running. I started this store around three days ago and we are already getting some sales, but everything else is blurred out. We are only going to fulfill this one order right here, uh, this one workout punching ball. This is a store that I'm currently taking from absolutely nothing, zero sales, zero pixel data whatsoever to over $1,000 in sales. It is day three and we have currently passed $1,000 mark. This store is going to be for my course. I'm showing you guys exactly how I scale a store from zero to over $1,000 and I might even scale the store to $10,000 a month. Right now, I'm just gonna show you guys how to fulfill an order for this one product right here. The product that we are fulfilling today is a workout punching ball. Let's go to the product page you guys can see right here. We are getting it for only a dollar and I'm selling it for $24.95 with some upsells. So, but anyways, this person only ordered one for $24.95. So let's go into my overload and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I fulfilled this order. So you need to make sure that you have one an AliExpress account or if you're using overload to fulfill your orders, you have an overload account, which you already do. But for this one product, my supplier is on AliExpress, so I need to make sure that I have an AliExpress account and that I am logged into my AliExpress account. If you're not logged into your AliExpress account, then your Overlow extension could mess up and it would just glitch a little bit and you'd have to start all over again. Make sure you have the Google Chrome Overlow extension right here, AliExpress Product Importer extension. It will make it a lot easier for you to fulfill these orders when you have that one extension and you guys will see exactly what I mean by that. But right now, let's click on Order Product and fulfill this one order. So I'm going to go over here, click on Order Product. Wait for AliExpress to open. It'll add that to the one product page. You can see it selects the variant, clicks on add to cart. Now it goes to my shopping cart, change the shipping information to that one person. I'm not gonna include their personal details obviously, but their name is Maruccio Sandoval. And now once that's already in there, all you have to do is scroll down here, make sure you have the correct shipping time. So right now this is saying nine to 18 day shipping to the US. So actually we're paying an extra $5.79 for nine to 18 days shipping to the US. For this product, I do not mind spending an extra $5.79 because it gets to their customer a lot faster. I don't wanna do 25 day e-packet for this one product if I have the opportunity to spend a little bit extra to get it delivered faster because I care about the customer. The customer comes first. I, yes, I might lose a couple dollars on the end, but that customer could come back and purchase more from my site. So if I have the opportunity to deliver that one product in a shorter time period, I'm going to do that. Now, that being said, I also leave a message for my seller saying something like this, I'm drop shipping. Do not leave any invoices, QR codes, promotions, blah, blah, blah. I am drop shipping this one product. Don't include the uh, receipt for this product. Don't include that it shows that I only spent 688 for this product make sure that's not in there because I am drop shipping. So make sure you tell your supplier that you are drop shipping. Make sure you tell them that you are sending this product to someone else. So they don't include the invoices, the QR codes, the receipts, all of that, because that will turn your customer off when they see that this product is only 688, but they spent 2495 to get it. So once you have all that filled out, you've got your shipping, you've got your message to the seller, you've got your correct information for shipping. Then all you have to do is put in your payment method. I have Alipay. So to set up Alipay, you just go into AliExpress, search in Alipay, add your credit card, and then it will automatically put in your credit card so you don't have to manually go ahead and type in all your, your numbers, your, your codes, all that information you don't have to do. You can just skip that step because it's already put it in there. So once I have all of that figured out, all I have to do now is go down here and click on confirm and pay. And now that is how you fulfill an order. It's that simple. Now it'll process your payment and then once it updates, I can now go over back here to Overlow. And once I refresh this one page, right here, order number 110, let's go into my orders, let's search it up. And boom, right here we refresh the page and now it does not say order product like these two below. It says get tracking code. So that means that our order has been processed, it has been put through, and AliExpress has synced with Overlow and now Overlow has updated. So we have our Ali order number right here, we have our product, we have our shipping, we have all of that. And now all of our work is done. We just have to wait for an email in a couple days saying your product has shipped. And then once we do receive that email, all we have to do is click on get tracking code. Once you click get tracking code, it will update your tracking code. And you can either send that tracking code to the customer directly through email, or you can have an app that automatically sends it out to the customer like AfterShip or any other app like that. I personally use AfterShip to automatically send out tracking codes to my customers because it does it automatically and I don't have to go in there and send it to them manually and now I don't have customers in a week or so asking me where their tracking number is. So today's consulting call winner is Mr. Vespiro. Congratulations, Mr. Vespiro. You commented ecom. Can you explain your thoughts of sales funnels, click funnels compared to Shopify? Cheers, brother. 
Thank you for your comments. I can definitely make a video talking about ClickFunnels. If you guys want to win a free consultant call with me, all you have to do is one, be subscribed, two, like this video, and three, comment ecom along with a video recommendation you would like me to make in the future, and you're entered to win a free consultant call. So it's that simple. Congratulations, Mr. Vespiro, you have won today. Shoot me a message on Instagram, give me your phone number, and we will talk about whatever you want. It's a free consultant call. So that is how you fulfill an order. It is very simple, very to the point. I made this video because a lot of you guys were actually asking on how to fulfill an order, and a lot of Shopify YouTubers do not have a video of them actually fulfilling an order. So here it is guys, I just went through and I fulfilled an order for you guys. I hope this video helped. If it did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.